Why does the sight of blood make people feel sick, sometimes even faint? You've probably seen it. Someone gets a small cut, nothing serious, but someone else turns pale, grabs the wall, and collapses. Why can a simple drop of blood literally shut down the brain? Is it fear? Panic? Actually, it's a complex evolutionary mechanism, millions of years old. Let's start with the obvious. Blood equals danger. To the brain, it means something's wrong. It could be a predator, an infection, a threat to the group. For early humans, bleeding often meant death, not just from the wound, but from infection. So the brain learned to react instantly. But what's going on when someone literally passes out? It's called a vasovagal syncope, a fainting reflex. Here's how it works. You see blood or an injury. Your brain interprets it as a threat. The parasympathetic nervous system kicks in, not fight or flight, but the opposite, a sudden drop in heart rate, blood pressure, and blood flow to the brain. Result? Dizziness, tunnel vision, unconsciousness. Sounds like a bug in the system, but it's actually an ancient survival feature. One theory says it's a way to play dead. If you collapse, the predator might lose interest. Another theory, lowering blood pressure could reduce bleeding if you were the one injured. A third, the brain shuts everything down to protect itself from overload. Does everyone react like this? No. Some people feel nothing, especially doctors, soldiers, or hunters. Often it comes down to experience, adaptation, or genetics. But around 15 to 20 percent of people have a strong reaction to blood, and that's completely normal. So if you get lightheaded at the sight of blood, you're not weak. You're the heir to a very old survival strategy, one that may have saved your ancestors' lives.